once again I joked and I said, well, I'm, don't forget I'm going to wear my Rio Carnival outfit. And then I thought, you know something? I've said it several times now. I'm actually going to have to do this. <laughs> but then I also thought, how can I relate a Rio Carnival outfit to building a standout brand? And you can believe that I, I worked it out. <laughs> so I'm going to share a little bit before we kind of dive in really uh, on, on how a Rio Carnival outfit can really help you stand out. And at the end of the day, you've got to do what you say that you're going to do because that is what your brand is about. But the other thing I want to point out is when you tell your clients to do something, make sure you're not telling them to do things that you're not willing to do. Does anybody do that? Tell their clients? Show up on social media? Do, you know, make, make sure that you're, you're talking about what it is that you do. Make sure that you've got a really clear message, that you're really confident about it, and you're sitting there going, <laughs> and then don't ask me if I do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I went to a breakfast uh, a while ago, last year, and it was on customer experience. And one of the partners from Deloitte was speaking, and they had done some global research on where the market's going. And he talked, it was a really great event, and he talked about the fact that we've been through the industrial revolution, we've been through and we're going through the technological revolution, but we are moving into, which kind of floored me, the revolution of the heart. And then when I stand my brand next to, say, my top three competitors, who I think are quite good, how am I standing out? Now, you can do this. I'm going to be honest. I don't do this. But what I do do is that I stand my brand up against those in the market that I love, yeah, that are not in my industry, that I think are awesome, that I want to stand out like. So I would really encourage you to think about who are brands or wh which are the brands that you really love that have got nothing to do with what you do that you feel could really embody the type of brand that you want to build for yourself. So for me, obviously, I love Frank Body. I love their copy. I love their personality. They're cheeky. You know, they're unapologetic in the way that they write, their images, etc. Sunny Life is a big one that I love visually as well. And then Gorman, basically that's all I wear. If you want to be bold, you have to go from what we do to how you show up. Yeah? Because you can have the best tactical process. You can have great surveys and great forms that people fill out. But the question is, how are you showing up? It's a very different way of thinking about it. So the big question you're not asking yourself that will make all of the difference, and this is a huge shift that you are living through and I am living through right now, and I'm loving it if I'm honest, and that question is, how do I position my brand, not just in the mind of my clients, but in the life of my clients? Yeah, and this is a huge shift in the market right now, and it's been a huge shift for the past I would probably say maybe three years or so. But if it was four days of trekking up and down mountains. Mountains, people, <laughs> not hills. Not like, you know, when you go on a hike. No, no. No, big stone, boulder, mountains. And this is me on Dead Woman's Peak. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't reenact that on purpose. That was just an opportune moment that my hubby took a photo. But building a brand is much like Machu Picchu, I think, and the trek, is that if you knew how hard it was going to be when you started, you may not have done it. Yeah? But the thing is, is that if you show up every day and you do what you love and you dive in deeper, then some days it will be a hard trek and it will be hard to get up those hills, but other days you will be at the summit looking out on everything that you've created, which I'm sure Kate is doing today, and thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I made it this far. And so I want you to love building your brand. I want you to build a confidently bold brand that you want to 
shout about from the rooftops because you believe in what you do, you know what your thought leadership is and you know how you can serve your clients. It'll be hard, but in the end, eventually, you know, it'll be worth it and you'll look back. It's always good when you look back, I think. When you're in it, it's not so good. And when we eventually got to the lost city and we saw the sun rise over the mountains and hit that sundial, it was amazing and it was incredible and I loved it. And I sat there and I cried. But do you want to know why I cried? Because as I looked down on that beautiful city after hiking for four days, I saw that I could have caught a train. <laughs> Thank you.